you've heard me say many times, the basics to weight loss is eating less calories than you need. It doesn't matter if you're doing keto, low fat, OMAD, or grapefruit diet. The only way you're losing weight is because you're eating less than your body needs. But what does calories even mean? What are calories anyways? Calories is a unit of measuring energy. It's the amount of energy your body will get from the food. All foods have calories except foods like water, plain coffee or tea, vinegar, spices, herbs, salt, and pepper. Your body needs energy to run, so calories are a good thing. It's nothing to be scared of. Your body uses the calories or energy to pump your heart, operate your lungs, and fuel your brain to think, for example. So it's all good. If you're having more calories than your body needs, it will cause you to gain weight. That's the basics. But calories are not created equally. This is where the macros come into play. Macros are macronutrients, and there are three forms, carbs, protein, or fat. Foods are made up of one or a combination of these three. Macros, so carbs, fat, or protein, have calories. The calories from the macros aren't created equally. The calories from the macros are based on gram weight. So what that means is that one gram of protein, fat, or carbs is not equal to one calorie. One gram of protein or carbs is four calories, while one gram of fat is nine calories. So there's more calories packed in fat versus protein and carbs. This is why you don't need to be scared of eating carbs because it packs just as many calories as protein. Fat is still good to have, but you don't want to have a high fat diet because it has more than double the amount of calories than protein or carbs per gram weight. However, you do need some fat in your diet because fat makes food taste good and also helps you stay fuller longer. However, calories aren't created equally by pure weight of food as well. You need to look at the food in its entirety and consider the components in the food itself. What that means is just because something seemingly weighs the same doesn't mean the calories are the same. An example is a couple slices of bread versus the same weight in a croissant. Both are carbs and they may weigh exactly the same, but the calories are comparably different and higher in the croissant. This is because of the fat content in the croissant and not the carbs. Remember, fat weighs more than double that of carbs, so you want to be aware when choosing foods to consider the components that make it up. And if you're eating meat, 100 grams of chicken doesn't mean 100 grams of protein or 400 calories. And this is because in that 100 grams of chicken, there are also other components to consider. For example, water content, which makes up a large component of the gram weight, protein, and also some fat. That's why the gram weight and calories aren't 100% clear cut. So to put it simply, calories provide energy and macros like fat, carbs, and protein, and, are made, and those are made up of calories. When we are more active, we need more energy or calories to build muscle and fuel our body. For weight loss, we need to be in a calorie deficit. What a calorie deficit looks like is 250 to 500 calories less per day or about a 0.5 to 1 pound weight loss per week. This is a deficit from the calories you need to maintain your current weight and this is what is considered healthy weight loss. The calories each person needs per day is dependent on many factors including their gender, weight, height, and activity level, and what amount per day you're comfortable with eating. A 500 calorie deficit may look good on paper or in a meal plan, but you need to test it out and see if you find it too little for food or not sustainable for lasting weight loss. For personalized coaching to get you to your healthy eating and weight loss goals, apply for my Elite Weight Loss Coaching Program at adrianrd.com or click on the link in the description below my video. Check out these other videos to get tips and recipes healthy weight loss from me. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell button and subscribe to my YouTube channel.